This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? This is a Toyota Mirai, a hydrogen car. And in this video, I'm gonna review the interior. I will see how well it will function as a family car and also how is the interior in terms of premiumness and features. So, you know, this Mirai is actually uh, three millimeters shorter than Model S. So it's almost five meter long. So it should have good space, right? Or will it? Okay, well, it's a hydrogen car, so we'll see. Let's check out the front first. And the hood on the Mirai is freaking long. I measure it to be 150 centimeters. Model S has 130 centimeter, but a frunk. Model X has 120 centimeter, but also a frunk. But then, okay, BMW i7 has 160 centimeter. But why do I mention this? Because at least for the Mirai, there is no frunk. So then that's, this space here is then non-utilizable space for luggage or whatever other stuff you want to put in there. The Mirai though has a really nice and sexy butt. Ooh, I mean, the overall shape is just super sexy. But uh, what is not so sexy is um, the back here. So um, no, no motorized lift gate and it has the Model 3 style opening. Oh, 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 oh. And the space in the back is somewhat limited. Here we have the thing that you need to use in winter when you're waiting for the fuel cell to heat up and you want to clear the windows. Uh, we have some pockets here on this side, but this one is uh, the tire repair kit. And then on this side here, you see the 12 volt outlet. Huh? Why did they put it in the back? Huh? Is it for weight distribution? Or is it because they, were, they ran out of space in the front? It's, um, what is this, 55 amp hour. Okay, whatever. So you, yeah, so there's actually very little space, utilizable space there. And then here you can do this, and you have some space here. Uh, we have the tow hook there. But then, what the heck, why did they provide a screwdriver in the trunk? And it's also reversible. Uh, okay, that is weird. And then I'll show you here. This one is important because this is a lid for emergency uh, release for the, uh, well, I was going to say charge port, but for the, for the fuel lid because it will fail often and you have to use this one to open it. Okay, at least there's a light in the trunk, no 12 volt outlet. Uh, I, I don't know if you noticed, but the rear seat cannot fall. And then here we have one speaker which tends to make some rattling noise. I test, when I did the noise, I mean, uh, uh, music test, it rattled a little bit. But you see that we just have bare metal here, so they didn't bother covering up this one. Actually, most cars would be like this. Even Porsche, even BMW i7 is like this. There are few cars, uh, some of the, uh, yeah, I think it was Neo, some Chinese cars, they have actually covered this. Here. And also Tesla, um, Palladium, a Model S Palladium has also this cover, but I guess this is just nitpicking. Who cares about looking on there? You won't be looking from here anyway. And as usual, I'll be using the Cybex e -Priam. This is an electric stroller, but uh, the electric stuff here doesn't really take up that much extra space. It's still considered just a medium-sized stroller. I've seen way bigger strollers out there. But um, one thing to note is that Isabel, after she was six months old, we stopped using that that uh, uh, carry cot, you know, it's like a big thing for newborn. So that one takes up a lot of space. Now this is way more compact, which is actually an advantage here because I'm not sure if the, 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 the you know, the newborn stuff, the carry cot would fit in the back here, but this one, will it fit? We'll see. So in most cars, I will just do this. I fold the frame and I put it in here. And then I just take this one. It's just for quick in and out since you have to go in and out of shopping malls or grocery stores but you will see that like in most other cars it will fit just fine uh, even in tesla model 3 the bigger uh, carry cot for newborn would fit but here I i'm really struggling to like, like how okay what if i can you can fold this one i mean you can rotate it a little bit or um does it help no um most car, okay, you can do this. I guess it's kind of clumsy. You fold this one, then becomes a little bit smaller, and then you can fit it there. Yeah. Or another way is that okay, if I as normally I don't want to take this one out, but maybe I need to do it anyway. But if I uh, take this one out, well, okay. Um, how to? Okay, one other way is to you can fold this flat, 
like this. But I have never ever had to do this in other cars than, than the Mirai. And now you will see that it will fortunately close. So that's good. Oh yeah. Well, let's do the measurement. Uh, Length-wise, we have 77 centimeters. Well, actually, it depends. Here is only 75 centimeters. Width, uh, I'm not sure where to measure. It goes kind of wide here. Here we actually have one meter, but then further in, we have only... Uh, wait, no, wait, wait. Wait, that one was one meter. Oh, oh this one, I was misreading. Well, this one is actually 140 centimeters, so that is quite amazing. And the height here is roughly 46 centimeters. And the opening here, which some people care about, but then it's usually not in the brochure, is roughly 44 centimeters. And then loading height here is 70 centimeters. That's good, yeah. And then uh, we don't have to me measure in the folded state because there is no such state. And now let's measure the width of the seat. Roughly there is oh 134 centimeters. That is okay with. What about the height of the seat here? Um, 33 centimeters. It's a bit shallow. Okay, uh, but I sit okay, but it is cramped. I need to show you. But in the back here, we don't have that much leg room. At least we can put the feet under the front seat. We have uh, air vents there. We have air vents here. We have. 2.1 amps USB-A. All right, that's good. What is this SD slot? Damn! Okay, cool. Um, so we have some stuff here, but look at this. This is looks like a shaft, right? This car is railroad drive. What are you thinking? Oh, is that the shaft? No, there is no engine here. There is just an electric motor. But this is one of the hydrogen fuel tanks. We have three of them total. And then, okay, we have the pockets there, but look here, there's not even door pocket here. We just have a speaker there, JBL. Uh, we have a small pocket here, but no place to put your bottles. Um, okay, but at least the materials here are mainly nice and, and soft. Nice door closing sound. Hooks here and, and stuff for all, window, uh, yeah, all sides. Wow, okay. Adjustable uh, here, okay, that's good. Let me show you here. So if you look at the seat, it has this bucket-shaped bucket seat, so it's very tuned towards uh, yeah, the two guys sitting there, but then the middle one must be really terrible. We're going to test that, of course. And here we have this center console that falls down like this. There are cup holders here, and then we have a table here, so that's a nice big table. Oh, and I like it. And then look here. We actually have some HVAC controls, and also ventilate the seats for the back huh what kind of luxury is that no massage but at least also heated seats um and also you can you can change the music here look but then there is no screen here so you actually have to look in the front there and you see that that's where you control the the music huh <laughs> isn't that a little bit weird and this car is equipped with sunroof, so you get a little bit of light in here, but because that's good, because otherwise you will feel quite claustrophobic. And then here you see that huh, they actually made this this place here shaped so that you get okay headroom. Well, how much headroom do you actually get there? Let's find out. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm a big Asian, 173 centimeters, and you see that I don't even have a fist of clearance. I have roughly two fingers or clearance so i mean i will fit here wifey did not complain about headroom but i would guess that uh, giants from uh, europe the white boys they will complain about the space but what about the middle seat we have to try the middle seat oh fucking holy crap man out to right oh duh like even for me I, I cannot fit how the heck am i supposed to fit here like i i, I can't i can't fit here like you have to put the smallest Asians here. I mean, wifey is 152 centimeters last time I checked. She might be able to fit in the middle seat here, but it, it is... No, space-wise here, uh, not good at all. When it comes to Isofix mounting points, they are here. Uh, fairly exposed, so that's good. Okay, let's see how easy it is to mount Isofix base then. All right, let me see. It's gonna beep a little bit, that's fine. So I extend the hooks. Uh, now I need to figure out where the the opposing hooks are and I can kind of see them here Okay, and then with this side I need to locate them there. Okay, so I managed to hook them in and now we just push them in uh, Well, you see 
I'm a small Asian, so I managed to get in here barely. Uh, anyone bigger than me will struggle a little bit, but at least I managed to fit it in here fairly quick. And then the final test would be to have Isabelle in here. She's almost nine kilograms. Now it's just empty, but here you can lift it in, uh, place it there, and then rotate it, and then we're good. A new part of the test is that we have to then adjust the front seat here a little bit back so we get to sit uh, oh, without rubbing into the baby seat. Actually, it's supposed to be like this. Yeah, like this. So now we need to check the front if we have okay seating space or not. Okay, let's try. Oh, I mean, it is okay for me. Yeah, fortunately, I'm a short Asian, but uh, if I would go maybe a little bit more forward and then recline. Oh, but then if I go more forward, then I have less leg room. And if I want more leg room, oh, then I have to go more upwards. So I guess you choose, you want to have the church bench seat, way, seat or do you want to sit like this? <laughs> uh, not the most comfortable uh, front here. Again, you just want to put the short Asian in the front, then it will work. And then the front seat, you have electric adjustable seat. And also you have electric adjustable steering wheel. Huh? Very nice. And also we have memory here. Voila! And sun visor rotates, but it doesn't extend. But I can actually usually find a comfortable seating position here. The only minus is that it is a little bit cramped in here. Okay, at least in the front you have door pocket, so that's good. Yeah. Fairly nice materials. Good door closing sound. We have the, <laughs> yeah, the water purge button here. Uh, although on the trip here, some uh, head up, yeah, we had headed to play also. Ooh, look at that. Uh, in, in, instrument cluster here, you see that um, it doesn't show you how many percent you have. It just says, oh, gum, whatever. Um, and then fun fact, I measured 5.1 kilogram of the hydrogen that can be used from full until it says zero kilometer left. And then supposedly, I read about it, there's supposed to be half kilogram of reserve below zero. So yeah, in case you are going to buy one of these. So yeah, this screen here seems a bit ancient. We have map here. Uh, okay, you can do this. You can have a full map. Well, actually, you, yeah, you either have it on that side or on this side here. And you can have other stuff here. For example, uh, now we have climate here. You can have some seat stuff here, you see. Uh, heated steering wheel even. Wow, look at that. This is pretty cool. Uh, here we have how much air has been purified because you have to purify the air in order to the fuel cell to work properly. So we'll show you some stats here. Uh, yeah, so, um, wait, was this side operation on? Oh, okay, ah, oh, it's illuminated. Yeah, so it, we have some, um, some ambient lights here also. And this is exactly like what they say about the cramps. Because for me, okay, I'm not that big, that long, but people with long legs, they probably want to have more knee room here, and then you just your knee will be knocking into this one. Uh, we have gear shifter here, works like this, and there's also a be like a braking mode here. Okay, I think it's because yeah, I'm supposed to be inside the car. Yeah, so there's even a, a brake. Uh, when you're on drive now, you can also be in the braking mode here, and it will regen more. So I can show you here that if you switch, okay, if you switch to um, this mode here, it displays the, it has a representation of the motor and the battery. And this one has a 1.6 kilowatt hour battery. It's like a light hybrid. Yeah, so you can regen until the tiny battery is full. Put the car in park. Wait, this, oh, is this self park stuff? I haven't tried it. We also have dry mode. You see, we have sport, normal, eco, just drive in normal mode. But okay, back to this one. I have to show you something here. You have to see this. Okay, are you ready? Ready? Look how laggy the map is. Like when, when I'm trying to pan to find a place, this happens. I'll be like, what the heck is this shit? Have you seen this kind of lagginess? This car is from 2021. Um, I guess uh, that's what happens when you put a 286 Intel CPU in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, whatever. Let's stop bitching about that one. Okay, here we have two cup holders. Uh, we have wireless charging pad, uh, which works. There's even an on-off button here, look. 
and then when you put something here it will charge there okay but it slides around so if you just drive like I do like a BMW driver this thing slides around like a freaking mofo but I think for most Toyota drivers it will always stay in place so don't worry about that one okay here we have uh, this 12 volt outlet here and this console for some reason is not that deep uh, wh why because simply because the freaking hydro tank is taking up so much space there and it also takes up space here it takes up space all the way here that's why but at least we have one USB-C there another one USB-C no, sorry on the USB-A only there's no USB-C here they didn't Japanese people didn't invent USB-C yet so USB-C USB-A and at least that one also works with communication as so you can play music from it so yeah that's pretty much it we have also here yeah, a fairly okay sized uh, glove box. And then over there, you see the seats. By the way, these seats are not leather. They look and feel like leather, but this is vegan. All this stuff is vegan. No cows were harmed. And we have ventilated seats also in the front, no massage. But okay, uh, what else should I show you? Uh, here, some visors, we have light there. Oh yeah, what about on this side? We have lights there. Yeah, yeah, you see? So, very nice also some microphones because this car also has some some voice control uh how is this again you can enable it somewhere here okay maybe no 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 okay okay whatever what about headroom um i guess it's okay uh except for that okay you could maybe utilize this uh, panorama roof except for that you might be bumping into that one you're not going to drive like this otherwise we could use like massive headroom there but I guess longer people, you can go lower on the seat and then you will still be comfortable here. Well, let me try, let me try, by the way, since I already have it here. So can I go lower here? Yeah, you, you see, you can lower the seat to this point at least. And then now for long people, you see that you will probably get the deficient heads room. Uh, I can't test it myself unless I have Morgan here. How to show you guys this. Oh, P mode. Yeah, okay, all is good. So there you guys have it, the Toyota Mirai. It's a damn good looking car, at least in my opinion. But when it comes to the practicalities, um, not the best. I mean, it has some features like ventilated seat and head-up display and nice looking interior. But I think the main disadvantage here is that it is cramped in this front seat, it is cramped in the back seat it is cramped in the trunk so yeah what do you guys think huh would you buy this toyota mirai or would you go for something else so i think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later